Hey folks, today is Friday, February 12th, January, no. Today is Friday, February 12th. Hey guys, today is Friday, February 13th. It's not, it's the 12th. Hey folks, Friday. February 12th. <laughs> Tom. Hey guys, today is Friday, February 12th, 2016. My name is Jake Baldino. Welcome to the Friday Untitled Game Ranks News Show thing. I wanna talk about cool video game stuff. Did you guys miss me last week? I'm sure you did. I really appreciate all the love and respect you guys uh, showed for me in my absence. But the first thing I want to talk about today is Namco and Dark Souls 3. In promotion for the new Dark Souls game, they launched a contest and the winner would get $10,000 if they could effectively describe and properly explain the Dark Souls storyline and mythos. And I think that's great and hilarious. And also, I guess they are totally aware that their story is very obtuse. That being said, I don't want to discount the hardcore Souls fans. There is some story there if you could figure it out. I couldn't, but someone actually got $10,000 for making a YouTube video exploring the Dark Souls lore. And the winner and the runners up I linked below are actually pretty good and worth checking out, especially if you're ready for Dark Souls 3. I gotta be honest though, I'd really like to see Bungie do something like this for Destiny, but you know that's probably not happening because they don't even know. But speaking of not knowing, Destiny 2 is definitely going to be a thing. This was rumored and reported a while ago, but apparently it's now definitely happening from the horse's mouth. If you guys do care, some of you out there do play Destiny, uh, Bungie has been talking about how they're adding new content and a full big extra expansion later this year. And then they finished that sentence with announcing a full Destiny sequel in 2017. So Destiny 2, 2017, you heard it here. I guess that's good, I don't, I don't know. I don't know like what Destiny players really want anymore. So let me know. And in some offbeat tech news, let's talk about Google and VR. Now Google has Google Cardboard and you know, all that little Samsung stuff they've been playing around with. And it's cool and it works. It's kind of like a low end range VR, but apparently Google is working on a mid range VR headset where you don't need to have a big beefy PC to use. And right there, I'm very intrigued because that's the biggest hurdle that VR has to overcome right now is the, the power and the fact that you're gonna have to have a dope ass gaming PC to hook this thing up to. But it's always exciting. And you know, it just seems like another person throwing their hat into the VR ring. It's it's not VR isn't even out yet and I'm starting to get sick of it. And since I like to show you guys random shit that we find on the internet, uh, I stumbled upon this on Twitter. Check out this Tony Hawk Pro Skater gra graphic. This is brilliant. This is like the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Just with the way the internet and sharing stuff works, we don't know exactly where this came from, but if you know who made this, definitely let me know because I want to shake their damn hand. And it wouldn't be a video game video without talking about the next generation of consoles. Yes, I know. Okay, uh, but you know, the word PlayStation 5 has actually popped up in the news recently with those X Criterion developers who are working on that new game called Dangerous Golf. They had some very interesting things to say. They said when they were working on Dangerous Golf, they were really trying to think of like, uh, how, what will this look like and how could this be done on PlayStation 5 or Xbox One? Two, I guess, what are you gonna call the next Xbox? I don't know. And then they wanted to grow from there in their game design. And they talked about how in the next generation, it's not going to be just like open world focused, but like what's actually going on in the open world. And they talked about how uh, developing physics engines on a molecular level, so minute, minute details in physics engines. And I think that's pretty cool. I know on the one hand you can kind of say it's just like, oh, developer claims that uh, the next technology is going to be better than the last technology. But it's just some interesting perspective. The smarter these devices get, the more moving parts there's gonna be. And that is good. I do think the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, a life cycle span is going to be shorter than the Xbox 360 and PS3's was. Because as you know already, the PS4 and Xbox One are kind of lagging behind PC. So I like hearing about potential developments like this. We talked about Destiny 2, let's talk about why Watch Dogs 2, I talked about this a few weeks ago, but uh, Ubisoft has come out and confirmed, yes, they are definitely, totally, 100% skipping Assassin's Creed for a year, which I think is a brilliant idea, by the way. And they mentioned that Watch Dogs 2 is going to be a thing and it'll be released before April 2017. And that is very cool because I've been saying it about Watch Dogs. I didn't hate Watch Dogs as much as some other people did, but it wasn't great. Great ideas, not the best execution. If it could pull an Assassin's Creed 2 and take what it did from the first game and make it really good, it could be, really good. And next guys, I'm gonna talk about something that you probably don't wanna hear anything about, but I'm going to talk about Kanye West and his video game that he has finally unveiled to the public. This was this was news a while ago, Kanye West wanted to make his own game about his mom being an angel going into heaven, and sure enough, we got a look at the game, and that's, that's what it is. It is a Kanye West mom lady blasting off with angel wings, rocketing towards heaven. And I could not stop. I'm, I was fucking laughing my ass off when I saw this. This is ridiculous.
Why is this a thing? I don't know why, but just like the art style and the way the clouds look and the way it's like this like winged figure, it kind of reminds me of the scene from God of War 2 where you're ripping the wings off of Icarus while you're beating the shit out of him. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say that that's probably going to end up being the better game. <laughs> One thing I really like though, there are apparent quotes from Kanye when he unveiled his game. Uh, he said, and I quote, this shit ain't easy. I went to San Francisco and said, I wanna make a game. And they were like, fuck you, this shit is hard. <laughs> Kanye never changed. And in what I personally think is the most important news of the week, Hideo Kojima has a YouTube channel. Yes, this is the Kojima Productions YouTube channel with his own new show produced on it called Kojima Tube, and it's actually really damn good. The first video he put out was his top 10 movies of 2015, and it's a very interesting list. Of course, Fury Road is number one, as it should be. But he really liked showing the sheep, and I find that interesting. This is a good video to watch. It's pretty long, but thankfully it's completely subtitled, and it's interesting to hear his thoughts on movies. Also, I just love Hideo Kojima, so I'm all about this. And Microsoft Xbox dropped a complete bomb on everyone announcing that Quantum Break is not an Xbox One exclusive. It's also being released on PC. And the coolest part, if you pre-order it on Xbox One, you get it on PC for free. Xbox is making this new initiative of like a cross-platform type of thing to really bolster Windows 10 and just the Microsoft thing as a whole. And some people are really pissed about this. Some people feel like the their value of their Xbox One, it, it, it just, it sucks more because they don't have their own exclusive games. But it's a little weird I, just because like with PC, I thought we didn't care like if if it was on PC like I thought that's that's cool like you know like on like PS4 exclusive games are PS4 exclusives and then they're put on PC a lot of times nobody really gets too angry right so I just thought it was very interesting and if anything I just think it's really cool that uh, you're you're gonna be able to do that you're gonna actually be able to have cross saves if you're playing Quantum Break on Xbox One and PC if you're a fucking crazy person I do want to know what you Xbox One fanboys think about this Quantum Break thing are you like up in arms that people on PC are also going to be able to play it let me know oh and one last thing of course our giveaway hello see when i'm not here you guys don't get free shit for those of you that don't know we do a giveaway every single week there's a link below it's a mailing list you sign up for it you sign up once you're entered forever every single week i go in pick one random person to win a free game of your choice so without further ado this week's winner is nice going you want a free game i've been emailing you guys some of you i haven't heard back from uh check your email check your spam box look for my name i've been emailing you guys but the most important thing i want to hear from you guys in the comments about the stuff we talked about this week are you about Watch Dogs 2 and if you're a destiny fan how do you feel about the the future of destiny i'm, re I'm really curious because i can't always get a good grasp and quantum break you're gonna play it let's talk down in the comments me on Facebook or Twitter at Jake Baldino, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever you want. I'll talk to you wherever because I am a lonely, lonely man. But you guys know the drill. Liking this video helps me out so much, helps this show out. And subscribing if this is your first time here is such a good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Pizza's on me.